Mobile Geeks, and here I am at Mobile Asia Expo 2013. And in my hot little hand, I have the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. This is a 6.4 inch tablet from Sony. And today I'm gonna look into how exactly the stylus works. So this will work with pencils, this will work with anything metal. And actually, I read an interesting story over on uh, Android Authority, one of my favorite Android websites around. And actually, these guys have just joined the Revision 3 family. So if you haven't already subscribed to their channel, you probably should. So the speculation is that Sony's using their Neo Note technology to get things like pencils and pens to work on the display. But since I'm here, I had a chance to talk to one of the project managers and I actually found out that Sony is using an extremely customized, improved capacitive touch display. So it's a single pane of glass with the touch center is completely integrated into it and it works by detecting a change in the wattage. So pencils, pens, anything with, you know, that can conduct electricity. So it's not actually IR technology that's allowing us to use pencils on the display. So since I'm here, I thought that I would clear that up and I had got a couple of requests on Google Plus to show off how the Ultra works with finger writing in messages. So because of the coating on the display, I kind of feel like my finger kind of sticks a little. It doesn't feel very smooth. It's actually much more comfortable to write with a pencil because it actually feels a little bit like paper. So that was just a quick look at how this TFT capacitive touch display on the Sony Xperia Ultra Z works. Big shout out to Android Authority for tipping me off to looking into whether or not this was using the same technology that was found in the Sony e-readers. Again, they've just joined the Revision 3 family, so welcome. And if you guys haven't checked out their channel, you really should. That Joshua is quite cutie. So I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks down here at Mobile Asia Expo 2000. 13.